do some voodoo magic on uh, Largo there. Let's go back to Wood Tick, that's probably where he is. Here we go. Where are you? Largo! Where are you? Probably in his room. Oh, the alligator's not back, nor is the Inman. Whoops. What are you doing in here? Get out of my room. Here we go. Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People my don't always heart. recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... What up? No! Guy! What up? No! That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. No. Nice. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring it back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! Oh, whoops. That's not going quite to plan. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a Hell zillion you know, gooey right? pieces. <laughs> I know, right? Not his Some body, people. Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. yes. He's going to try to kill me. Yes. Undoubtedly. <laughs> yes. Uh, where can I hide? Where can I hide? There is no place to hide. There must be. There is a way out. Ooh. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. Ooh. It contains the secret to another world. Ooh. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. <laughs> right. Brilliant. So Largo's gone. Um... Let's go and get Dread to get us over to. Well, we've got to. Let's read the book and then we've got to um, go to Fat Island. And uh, we need to look up the the loss of the ship, Elaine, and find out the four crewmen who survived. Uh, and we need to go and put this book in. So. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the oh. cook, young Lindy, the cabin boy, Mr. Rogers, the first mate, oh, yeah, and Mr. Captain... Rogers. Good heavens! Captain Marley! I wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. 
They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Raph Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. Yep. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Oh dear. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. <laughs> Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. Right then, so that was the book we needed to check out. Okay, great. She did that for us. Um, let's go have a word of dread then. Oh, he needs the um, the, the navigator's eye, doesn't he? Let's go have a word of him there. flashback there it's me again so I see what can I do for you this time on um why can't I charter your ship like I said before man I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace yes I gotta run lots of treasure hunting to do okay bye man come again thank you come again um What can that be? Is there anywhere else we need to go? Wait, if Rap, if um, Rap Scallion, Scallion, whatever his name was, died here, then surely he's buried in the cemetery. Logically thinking, eh? The Quagmires. No trespassing. Stan's Cozy Crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. The Rickets. No trespassing. Stan's Casual Crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. <laughs> don't like yours, Shirley, no. Ah, okay, maybe it's not. Maybe he's not here then. Maybe that's just for Largo's grandfather. Okay, let's go and check out this beach hut then. So there's nothing else here, is there? Sometimes it's easier from this view. Oh look, you see that stick stands out there. Not so much there. I'll have that. Because obviously we need to pick that up. Anything obvious here? Looks closed. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Uh can you can you can you knife it open? No. Right. We got a stick. Got a stick. <laughs> How's a stick gonna help us? Right. I know there's something more to do with the wood. The wood chuck. <clears throat> yeah. Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove him right out of town. Oh, no, it was me. Never get the credit. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? That's a good question. Um, well, no, never mind. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. <clears throat> yeah? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Damn, can you not just go out for a moment and help us do stuff? Let's go have a word with the, uh, the barman. See if he can give us anything for get rid of Largo. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? 
Largo Legrand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. <laughs> what? Don't worry, I don't put them in all the drinks. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. It reads, Jojo. Appearing nightly. No cover charge. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Oh, metronome. Oh, it doesn't tick. That's rather disappointing. Um. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Hi, Wally. Hi, right, Governor. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Uh, I did it. Largo Legrand left scab. Hey, I did it. Largo Legrand left scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. <laughs> They're all lovely, aren't they? Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Um, I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? No. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. Oh. Nice map. Not for sale, though. Oh, an eye that's seen the world. A cartographer's... Oh, he's quick. I've got to be quicker than that. Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. Oh, where is that thing? I'm sorry, Wally. Right. I think that might do it. I think that might be it. Poor Wally, I know. I feel bad. But that may be... I think that is it. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. Alright. Let's go and try and hire Captain Dread. And then we can go to... What have we got? Fat Island and what's the other one? This is Scab. There's Fat Island and there's another one. I can't remember what it is. Booty Island. Booty it's me Island. again. Maybe Booty Island. So I fun. see. What can I do for you this time, man? Right. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Mm. Right, okay. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Uh, where is it? I give it to him. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing. There you go. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Oh, what? Yes, you're right. I'm broke. <laughs> After all that, what do we got? One piece of eight. Where are we getting it? We need to get some money. Um. Oh, yes. We need to get the job, don't we? What was the... What was the wage? Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. A one week salary in advance. Oh, yes. It's come to me. It's come to me. I remembered how you do this now. I remembered it. I remembered it. 
We were playing with this box earlier. There, you hold that open with the stick. You tie the bit of string to the stick. And then you put the cheese squiggles in the box. I think it's yo-yo string. Oh, okay. And you wait till the the rat. There we go. Pull the string. Brilliant. Oh, there oh, we go. By George, he's got it. We got the rat. <laughs> I have no memory of this place. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's slowly coming back. Bits and pieces, I say. I was, I was, I'm, I'm, all I've got in my head is the monkey puzzle. Um, but that's much later, I think, obviously. Canned goods. Oh, here we yeah, go. It's all cans of fruit cocktail. Let's put the captured rat. Good thing this is a cold soup. There we go. Right, let's get his job. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Uh, what's the student like? Hey, uh, how's the student like? Stu? How gauche. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. Oh. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap! <laughs> uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang! Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Love one. Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? Uh, how much does it pay? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces oh, yes. of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Yes, please. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. 420 pieces of eight. Nice. Let's get out of here and go and charter a ship. Happy days. Cheetahs always prosper, as the saying goes. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Right, fame and fortune, here we come. It's like the, the movie Blues Brothers, take the money and leave by the back door. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. No one, no honor here. Take the money and run. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time on? I'd like to charter a ship for the fourth and final time. I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, part two, four map pieces. I'm 
mean, I mean, if you had cooked something, you might actually got something Deep to eat yourself. That's true. Hidden by an endless storm lies LeChuck's fortress. <laughs> the rabbit ears. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threakwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. Ooh, sinister. I'm off to find Big One. Oh, look at this. Parrot Chow. What happened? If this is one of those games that if you see something, you pick it up. Alright, this is lovely. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where Jolly do you want Rasta. to go? Um, what are my choices? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. <laughs> what are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around. Governor Elaine Marley. Oh, Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. Dread you can Tours. use it to show me where you want to go. Nice. Where do we want to go, chap? Where do you want to go first? Do we want to go to Fat or Booty Islands? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Any, 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 any preference? Any preference? We'll just go. Let's go to fat. Fat booty fat. <laughs> Sounds like a song. Fat booty fat. Okay, so two for fat, one for booty. Any more takers? Booty. Oh, two. Brilliant. I like a bit of booty myself. Okay, that's three for booty. Two for fat. I have a little. If there's no more takers, we'll go for Booty Islands. <laughs> we'll go for Booty then. Here we go. We're not going the direct route, clearly. Is this like a cab? Are we paying by uh, by the by the time? <laughs> it's a new lucky necklace. Give him a break. Yeah. Oh, we've already. Yeah, we've made it. Booty Islands. Okay, what do we have? We're coming to Booty Island now. There's Dread Ship. We've got a costume shop. We've got a... The sign says the Booty Boutique. The Memento Captain, Souvenirs I Artifacts. I don't have a word with you! Um... Oh wow, thank you so much for the raid. Jess, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome raiders, welcome, welcome, welcome. Quick, let's look, there's a three-legged, there's a free-headed monkey. Oh, welcome everyone. Man, the thank you so gun. much for the raid. Xavier, thank you very much for the follow. Jess, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
A fellow Brit, female gamer. Hello, yes, yes. Never Deccan. We we do get about, don't we? Yes, fellow Brits. And thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, everyone. We've just landed on Booty Island to all the new new raiders. Thank you so much for the raid. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, fellow Brit, slowly toasting away in this horrible hot weather. How are you finding Monkey Island? Loving it. Loving it. It's been a long time since I played it. We um, we recently revisited Monkey Island 1 uh, a couple of weeks ago. Loved that. So we thought we'd uh, follow that up this evening with a bit of Monkey Island 2. And um, yeah, it's, it's horrible, isn't it? Horrible and sticky. You've already had the conversation about air, air conditioning this evening. <laughs> you just moved on to the third one. Oh, oh it's one of my favourites, the third one. I got some fond memories of that one, like the uh, the flying Welshman and the uh, the banjo dueling. Oh man, it's just su such a nostalgic trip, isn't it? Going on these things. Oh, I know there's like a million and one things I need in here, but I can't remember what they are. I have to go now. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Let me try that again. Nice shop you got here. Thanks! I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume! I have to go now. That was a short conversation. Did the banjos today? Ah, oh, <laughs> you've never done them before. Oh, that's the best bit in the game. I love that. That's brilliant. Ooh, some hubcaps. I was told that these are used as a form of barter in the inner cities. Oh. That's a Mark 7 Devastator triple cannon emplacement. If only they'd thought to leave a hole for the fuse. <laughs> Ooh. Elvis. That collectible plate is worth a mint. Wow. I knew those would be valuable one day. That's part of the Big Whoop treasure map. Ooh. I don't know a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. How much is it? I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million <laughs> pieces of eight. Do you want it? Well, I can't afford that much. Too bad. Tinky lights. I'd like to buy these tiki lights. Tiki lights. Actually, tinky. those belong to my son. They oh. aren't for sale. Oh. Eye patch. I'd like to buy these eye patches. I just couldn't part with those. They have sentimental value. How much of a shopkeeper are you? I'd like to buy these cannonballs. Actually, those belong to my son. Oh, well. They aren't for sale. Oh, the ship's horn. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. Excellent choice. I remember That'll why. Be 40 pieces of eight. I'll take it. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. <laughs> it's not for sale. Yeah, it is. Here you go. Thank you. He needs one circle. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's going to make his fortune. Oh, well polished saw. I'd like to buy this well polished old saw. Excellent choice. That'll be 25 pieces of eight. That's a good, that's a good value for okay, you, Okay, I'll take that. it. I'll have that. Do I need the peg leg? Thank you. How much for the peg leg? I'd like to buy this peg leg. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. Aww. How about the barrel? I'd like to buy this barrel. I only have one of those, so I need to keep it as a display model. Okay. I'd like to buy this treasure chest. Yeah, I like that too, but it's not for sale. Oh, what? How about the parrot? Sorry, he's not for sale. Oh, we gotta get a pirate hat. I'd like to buy these pirate hats. Okie dokie. They're 30 pieces of eight each. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, Indy's Whip. I'd like to buy Indy's Whip. I only have one of those, mm. so I need to keep it as a display model. Ah, oh, so painful. 
Well, I'd like to buy this mask. Yeah, I like that too. But it's not <laughs> for sale. What about an anchor? Well, I'd like to buy this anchor. I only have one of those. Ah. So I need to keep it as a display model. The vase. Oh, I'd like to buy this vase. Yeah, I like that too. But it's not for sale. Cheese grater. I'd like to buy this thing. I only have one of those. So I need to keep it as a display model. Well, I'd like to buy this small picture frame. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. But I'd like to buy this whale painting. I only have one of those. Oh my so I need I'm to off. keep it as a display I'm model. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. Right, can we put our hat on? Um, use no, hat. I have a thing about lice. Oh. Let's have a chat with the old man. Hello there. Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that <laughs> again? <laughs> hello. I said hello there. My name's Threepwood. Oh, why, hello there, Threepwood. You in town for Mardi Gras? Uh, treasure hunt. No, I'm on a treasure hunt. What? They're doing a treasure hunt again this year? I can't believe they'd try that again after all the mishaps last time. Uh, what kind of mishaps? What kind of mishaps? One. Well, some people got carried away, some graves got dug up, horrible business. Well, enjoy Mardi Gras. <laughs> Just leave it at that, okay. Let's go into the costume shop. Who's this, the shopkeeper? Several words. Excuse me. I'm looking at all the characters trying to try and find something I recognize. Did he just ignore me? Just jump. Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> I'd like to rent a costume. I didn't see the text in the bottom. Our costumes are all gone or on reserve. Sorry. Oh, I'd really like to rent a costume. I'd really like to rent a costume. Try us after Mardi Gras. I really, really like. I'd really, really like to rent on, a costume. This, this is always works. Look, if you don't have a reservation, you don't have a costume. I need to rent a costume. Can't you see I'm busy? Yeah. I have to rent a costume. Sorry, can't help you. My life depends on renting a costume. I said I'm all out. Did I ask you about renting a costume yet? Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, the cat's just jumped in through the window. Hello, Ollie. <laughs> if, the, if the screen suddenly goes off. Hang on, let's let him out. Bloody cat's using this as a thoroughfare. <laughs> uh, why are your costumes so popular? Why are your costumes so popular? I'm the only costume shop in a five island radius. And besides, everybody who's anybody is going to the big Mardi Gras celebration at Governor Marley's oh, well, mansion. Oh, Marley, of course. You look busy. I'll come back later. 